final aspect of the research that we're working on is the diet and lifestyle. Probably the first question most patients will ask their clinician when they've been diagnosed with breast cancer is what can I do to modulate or change my diet so that I might have the best possible outcome. And sadly at the moment there's very limited advice that's available to patients. The current advice is along the lines of healthy eating, the five a day agenda that many people are familiar with, um, having a relatively low fat diet and to have a relatively salt free or low salt diet. We're, we and others recognize that this is probably inadequate for patients. Patients want to understand more about what they can do to help themselves after breast cancer diagnosis. So we're running a very large study here at the university, which is um, part of a large network of um, NHS centres in which patients have been recruited onto our study and, and uh, just after they've been diagnosed with breast cancer. And up to five years following their diagnosis, they are very kindly recording for us their diet in a great deal of detail, providing blood and urine samples to allow us to understand what of their dietary constituents might be important in protecting them from a disease progression. Finally, we'd like to really thank the supporters of the charity who support us here at the Against Breast Cancer Charity. We'd like to thank you for all your hard work in raising money. Without the support of Against Breast Cancer, our unit would not be operating today and uh, we'd like to thank you for all the help that you've given us um, in this important task that we're undertaking. Thank you.